everybody! Today we're going to read a book from the Peppa Pig series. The Big Tale of Little Pepper. Once upon a time, Pe Peppa's best friend, Susie Sheep, came to play. I've got something to show you, said Susie. Look! It's me, said Susie. You're not a baby, Susie, said Peppa, shaking her head. This is an old photo, Susie explained. It was taken when I was little. Peppa snorted. Susie was being very silly today. Susie pointed at Peppa. In the olden days, you were a baby too, she said. No, I wasn't, said Peppa. Yes, you were, insisted Susie. Ask your mummy. Peppa and Susie raced inside. Mummy Pig was working on the computer. Mummy, cried Peppa. Susie's making up stories. No, I'm not, Susie said crossly. Peppa told Mummy Pig about Susie's silly idea that they used to be babies. But you were a baby, Peppa, said Mummy Pig. Mummy Pig took a look on the computer. Who do you think this is, Peppa? Mummy Pig asked. Peppa thought that the baby looked a bit like her cousin. Is it baby Alexander? She asked. No, replied Mummy Pig. That's you as a baby, Peppa. He <laughs> he. Susie and Peppa giggled. They'd never seen a baby be Peppa before. George and Daddy Pig came in to see what all the fuss was about. Look, Daddy, said Peppa. That's me as a baby. I remember it, said Daddy Pig. That photo was taken on our first day in this house. What do you mean, asked Peppa. Daddy Pig told Peppa, Susie and George that they had moved into their house when Peppa was little. We bought all our things on the top of our car, he said. Mummy Pig put some pictures up, said Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig put a shelf, said Mummy Pig. And Grandad Pig made us a lovely flower garden, she continued. Peppa and Susie went outside to see what Grandpa Pig's lovely flower garden looked like now. It had completely disappeared. Daddy Pig looked after the flower garden, sighed Mummy Pig. Um, said Daddy Pig. We had the wrong kind of soil for our flowers. Was Susie my friend in the olden days too? asked Peppa. Daddy Pig nodded. Of course, he said. You and Susie have always been best friends. Peppa wondered what games she played with Susie when they were little. Did we jump up and down in muddy puddles? No, Peppa, laughed Mummy Pig. You were babies. You couldn't even walk. What did we do when we were babies, Mrs. Pig? Asked Susie. You cried, you burped, and you laughed. And Susie and Peppa burst out laughing. Baby Peppa, baby Susie. Then you grew into toddlers, continued Mummy Pig. But where was George? Peppa asked. He was a baby in my tummy, said Mummy Pig. George looked very surprised at this part of the story. What a funny idea! Peppa thought for a minute. Daddy's tummy was even bigger than Mummy's. Is there a baby in there? She said. No, Peppa, chuckled Daddy Pig. This tummy is pure muzzle. Mummy Pig said then, after a little while, George was born. And she remembered the time that Granny and Grandpa Pig gave George a very special present. Can you guess what it was, Peppa? Peppa knew straight away. Mr. Dinosaur, she cried. Goo, goo, goo. Daddy Pig explained that Peppa and Susie didn't stay little for very long. They liked to jump and dance and run around all over the place. Then one day, said Mummy Pig, you saw something amazing. A muddy puddle. Mummy Pig said, you love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. After Mummy and Daddy Pig's big tail of little Peppa, Susie, George and Peppa ran outside into the garden. I still love muddy puddles. Peppa cheered and jumped into the biggest one she could find. Susie and George jumped in too. Splash. Daddy Pig went to find the camera. Let's take a photo of you now, he suggested. Peppa, Susie and George did their best smiles. Little or big, Peppa will always love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. The end.